Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Thanks for stopping by today to take this CCNA and CSENT video practice exam. Switch security and serial interfaces. Three questions you can see, two you can't. Let's dive right in. Question one, name three best practices for unused switch ports. Really got to know this kind of thing to talk to a client about it. Name three best practices. Question two, what's the default encapsulation for a Cisco router serial interface? Question three, your port is running PPP and is configured with the PPP authentication pap chap command. Under what exact circumstances will the interface use chap to authenticate? Question four, what protocol is considered the manager of PPP? Question five, what's the default protection mode for port security? And I got a bonus for you on that. What mode does a port go into when that default mode takes effect? So a lot of material to cover there. We're going to jump right into the answers in about 20 seconds. A quick invite. Check out my 2012 on-the-go video boot camp for the CCNA. When you use the discount code, as over 1,800 students have already done, you get in literally for about $2 an hour. All you've got to do is click redeem it right there. Enter Bulldog 60. Click apply, give it a moment to cook, and you are in for $44. All videos fully downloadable, and it is a fantastic course. I know you'll enjoy it, and I also know it'll help you get your CCNA. Let's jump into the answers for today's questions. Now, those best practices for unused switch ports. Cisco switch ports are open by default. So the first thing you really should do if you've got switch ports that aren't connected to host devices or other uh, trunk, excuse me, other switches in your network, you need to shut those ports. What you can also do is turn off trunking because leaving on that dynamic ability for a port to trunk, that does open us up to some security issues. Third, you can put those ports in an unused VLAN. Just create one separate VLAN that nobody else is using and put your unused ports in that particular VLAN. Now, what is the default encapsulation for a Cisco router serial interface? That is a Cisco proprietary version of HDLC. You're generally going to change that to PPP or to Frame Relay because PPP gives you a lot of options that HDLC does not. And speaking of one of those options, with question three, if you're running PPP, and you see the command PPP authentication pap chap, that can really throw you the first time you see that command because you're thinking, well, you know, how can I use pap and chap? Well, you're really not using both. What you're saying with that command is if the remote partner in this attempted authentication is not running pap, then your local router will attempt to use chap. That's the only way it'll work. If the remote host is using pap, in this instance, and your authentication fails, then CHAP will not be used. That secondary method is only there in case the remote partner is not running the first method. Very important distinction there. Now, what protocol is considered the manager of PPP? That's LCP, the link control protocol. Don't jump to session when you see manager, because I know we always talk about the session layer being the manager of the OSI model. Uh, but in this particular case, we're looking for LCP. Now, port security, check out my YouTube channel for more videos on this because it is a very important exam topic. And the default protection mode for port security is shutdown. And what mode does a port go into? It's going to show down and down for the physical interface and the line protocol. And it's also going to say ERR-disabled right after that for error disabled. So again, make sure to check out my YouTube video, do a quick search for port security, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about there. I invite you also to check out my free, free and almost free video boot camps at udemy.com. You can see the whole list at u slash Chris Bryant out at Udemy, and there's always a discount code in that description like I showed you for the CCNA. There's always a discount code, so take advantage of that. I'll see you on Twitter and YouTube as well. Thanks for stopping by today and for making the Bryant Advantage part of your success story.